out, Sugar Jesus, not again! The Kids Kid takes the win over Storm. Ready. He's ready. Scotty's ready. Scotty's ready. Scotty's ready. Scotty's ready. Scotty's ready. ready. We're all ready. Billy's ready. We're all, all right. So we just rolled into Bridgeport Speed Bank. Welcome to the home of the kingdom of the speed. Yeah. Let's see what we got tonight. Apparently, Ralph Prince makes songs happen. Ooh, it's overcast, no sun, like 80 degrees, but we're here. Uh, wait until you see the car. Kind of like got got a two face thing going on because she got beat up last week if you remember. Yeah, so just rolled in regular points tonight. So again, we're leading points. Um, we've got tonight and then two more races. So like th three races total. And so the points championship is like done, finished, like captured. Um, and we've got match races tonight. I like match races. I don't know if Billy likes match races when you're leading points. But I do believe it is called the driver's meeting, so we are going to head over to that. I don't have my microphones tonight, so I'm gonna be all up in your business. Oh wonderful. <laughs> Get ready. Get ready for me. Yeah. <laughs> we uh, pretty much have to get out of the banking, um, take a look where the new wall meets the old front stretch wall. That's about where the cone will be when we do the match races. Um, I'll be down on the track. Um, we'll be waving the green flag from on the track. I'll be down there. And then keep waiting for Someday. Whoa. At least they're both ones. At least they're both ones. Right? You're not going to get confused by this, you know, right? You're right. good? Okay. <laughs>
Caution lights turned out. Here we come on a turn number four this time. Scooby, Rick Lawbaugh will set the pace coming on a turn number four. Mike Franz in the Franz garage car. Matt Stangle, that one inside. Matty Ice powers that one inside of the speedway. Oh! Frankenfield getting rallied to the rear. Almost got hooked up with Billy Osmond III. Lap one now complete. They'll try race on a turn number four. Lawbaugh holds the shot. Stangle is second. Billy Pouch Jr., current point leader in the Amanda Marchetti Pony. Film number one car down the back straight away to the number three spot. Down three to go. Laubach, who's led since the drop of the green flag. Stangle trying the inside lane, did not get by at that time. Pouch Jr., third. Williams gaining momentum back there in spot number four. Then a big gap of space back to fifth place runner, R10 car, Wade Hendrickson. Oh, smoke coming in from the sixth mount. Matt Stangle could be in trouble, but he... time. Four more left-hand turns to the checkered flag. Lawbach in the number one slot. Stangle and now Williams takes over spot number three putting Pouch Jr. in fourth spot. Checkered flag coming out this time winning the first Danny's Pizza Pizzazz modified qualifier here at Elite Welder Training Night. It is Rick Lawbach. Center lines it. Keeps the kids' kid on the outside. Here they come. Green flag with Doug Rose. Hammers go down. We go racing. Side by side in a turn number one and two. Cozy by a fender, but here comes Pouch Jr. Pouch Jr. convincingly up to the number one spot. 
Billy Pouch Jr. Point leader Cozy keeping him in the shadow right there in the number two slot. White flag comes out. Cozy going to try and close the gap. Far tenths of a mile remain. But it's all in Billy Pouch Jr.'s hands. The Amar Amanda Marchetti Pony Racing movie number one car down the back straight away. It's going to be Billy Pouch Jr. to win this round. All right, Billy Pouch Jr. Who are you taking, bud? Billy Pouch. Stangle. Stangle. Matt Stangle. All right, He's Matt, Stangle. Matt Stangle. Stangle. Stangle quick to the action on the outside. Pouch. Conservative on the inside line. Watch him on a turn number two this time. And Stangle from the rim shot to the number one spot down the back straight away. Stangle will lead lap number one right now in the number six machine. Matty Ice, they call him here at the Bridgeport Motorsports Park. Thing, right? Thought the fuel pressure was right uh, low all night. Then I cranked it up, and, um, and uh, it was uh, almost flooded over. So we put a different gauge on here. We had a spare in the trailer, and in the trailer we put it on the gauge reads where we wanted to be, or added back the fuel back down. So I guess it must have had a bad gauge in the car, and didn't do me any good. So we're back to fix. We'll uh, get one this week. So it is what it is. Live and learn, right? Um, How is that here? Right? Yeah, it was all right, so I got tight there and kneeled down again, but we're going all right. We just got to be a little bit better and see what we got here, you know? You got it. Sounds great. Um, yeah, you know, I probably got cranked. I got rotation now. Um, I was actually, I don't know. How much I'm rod shop does? I'm not going back down with the rod and lower the outside pan or above. Try that. Go back to the way you had the rod. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, 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 no, it was worth trying. Right, no, let's do it. Meanwhile, this is what I looked like while I videotaped them. This is another. Oh, no! Two down, one hole, and thanks for the rain. Sorry. This is the girl on the other side of the camera. <laughs>
him a high five? Oh yeah! We're gonna win. Heck yeah! Can I get a high five? Oh, too slow! <laughs> you wanna wave? Caution lights get turned out. Ladies and gentlemen, here we come on a turn number four. Way to go racing. Off we go down to the inside of the lane. Rick Robach on the center line on a turn number two down the back straight away. Moves up to the outside. Down the back stretch he goes. Now it's gonna be Sammy Marks Jr. Hard swing shots down to the inside this time. Marks on the inside line. Laubach up wide. Stangle Matty Ice back there in slot number three. And the number six machine. Three separate lanes of excitement coming out of turn number two. Billy Pouch Jr. back there in spot number four already. Pouch started in spot number seven. And holds on to the number two spot. Matty Ice is third. Pouch looks down to the inside on Stangle this time. The kid's kid, Billy Pouch Jr. In the Amanda Marchetti number one car. Down the back straightaway. Holds on to the number four slot. Ross back in spot number five. Now Pouch throttles down to the inside of Stangle. They swap lanes coming out of turn number four. Matty Ice right back at Pouch Jr. in a wild tussle for spot number three. Pouch says, whoa, no you don't. Grabs back the number three spot down the back straightaway. The kid's kid, Billy Pouch Jr. in the Pony Marchetti number one car. Holds on to the number three spot. Stank Constant lap 16. We're in third. Slowly reeling Marchetti. Oh, Marchetti in. Third. But that caution was hopefully in our favor. And Jimmy Gallagher Jr. Taking the back of Matt Stangle, or off the track as well. Oh. The green flag serving this time around. Lawbox sets the pace coming out of turn number four this time. Back to the number one spot he leads. Pouch Jr. ahead of Stangle for the number three spot. Three wide for the number two spot. Four cars going to work for the number two position. Pouch Jr. down the back straight away. And Merch Sr. mix it up for the number two spot. Meanwhile, it's all Lawbox for the lead step. The kid's kid slides up wide, four lanes down across the stripe this time. Pouch Jr. in the number two spot. Billy Pouch Jr. in spot number two. Now Matty Ice is third in the number six machine. Story up to spot number four. Barge Jr. back to slot number five. Cozy six. Cole Stangle seven. Cole Stangle way up the banky that time. Going to lose out two notches to Wade Hendrickson and Sammy Mart Sr. Maybe not. He rebounds back across. Kiel Ross may be in trouble. This time, Lawbach the leader. The Amanda Marchetti number one car with Billy Pouch Jr. aboard. Current point leader here in the Danny's Pizza Pizzazz Modified. Pouch started back there in the number seven spot. Up to slot number two. This is why he is the point leader so far. Three to go coming up this time by three laps remain to the $3,131 paycheck. And Robach has certainly used that to round out his 2024 campaign. Now is when all the money starts to come out a shortage for a lot of these teams at the end of the season. Laubach, who came so close to winning a feature just a couple of Saturday nights ago until Mechanical Rose left them down. Laubach, long shot, still the leader. Pouch Jr. is second, Stoyer third, Stangle fourth, Marks Jr. is fifth, Cozy sixth. White flag comes out this time. Scooby, the Quaker Shaker from Hellertail, Pennsylvania. He's slowing down a little bit. This isn't good. Robach is slowing. Pouch Jr. sees it. Not again. The kid's kid takes the win over Stoyer. Oh, the humanity. And he's slowing down a little bit. This isn't good. Robach is slowing. Pouch Jr. sees it. Not again. The kid's kid takes the win over Stoyer. Oh, the humanity!
heard us yelling. Oh my god. I think I lost my voice from just that. Michelle and I are like, we swear, if Billy finishes second one more time this week. You hate to see it happen. Ball buck, I think he blew up, literally coming to the checker. Billy had a slow up. Holy, was that intense? That was really intense. <sighs> Stoyer like, yeah, Stoyer almost got us. Stoyer, that. Really had to check up. Yeah. Oh, that was good. That was way cool. That was. <laughs> and he was catching low block. Yeah, right but with like three laps to go. Well, Marty's got a problem with it. Hey, Marty's got a problem with it. Well, I'll tell you what, young man, you're probably still scratching your head over what went on right there at the checker flag mark. Yeah, I really don't know. Uh, I, I, I lost two this week on the last lap, and that one kind of fell into my hands there. I didn't know which way to go, and uh, I, I, I didn't even know story wasn't outside of me. I mean, I honestly couldn't tell, right? You come off, you get around him, and you go where you got to go. Um, it was for the win. I didn't, I didn't know that, you know? Oh, um, yeah. Big two races this week, we led everything but the last lap, and uh, we lost it, so tonight we led everything. We didn't lead anything but the last, uh, last lap, so uh, this one makes up for a little bit this week. These guys uh, worked their tail off on it and uh, did what they had to do. Uh, you know, this is a hard knock racing out here, and uh, it's interesting. It's not, it's not my favorite style, um, the way you got to pass, but it's, uh, it's the way it works, unfortunately, and uh, we kind of try to make it the best we can and uh, do what we got to do, but thanks off... Uh, let me go down that list here. Uh, Marvel, C Rock, B and G, First Choice, Morgantini, Atlantic Sprinkler, Pioneer Pole Buildings, uh, Pony, uh, Pony here, In Singer Performance, Degree Engineering, Ken's Tire, uh, McNell, Jones. Uh, tonight we were on Dig Shocks for Brandon. Uh, my buddy uh, George Adams, who helps me out a lot of heavy business, he's uh, not been good this week, so this one's kind of for him. And uh, whew, I didn't know, uh, I didn't think we'd get that one. Well, does it ruin your brink of concentration when all of a sudden you're expecting the leader not to kind of drop off the pace all of a sudden? You probably don't know what's going on. No, I had no idea. I mean, I should have just rolled around him, I guess. And uh, I tried to go on the inside and come across. And uh, I mean, I, I honestly had no idea Sawyer was even coming off the top there. And uh, just uh, it was like, oh, shoot, he blew up, you know, and uh, kind of fell in my lap. Uh, <laughs> finally pulled one that fell in my lap. It didn't fall in my lap the last two nights. So. We keep digging. Uh, we got a couple races here to go. We'll, uh, we're going to switch back to our one body next week. So uh, thank you all for riding out the movie, and uh, I appreciate it. So we'll work on it from there, and uh, let's have some fun. Strengthening that point lead here, late season at the Bridgeport Speedway. We got it. We're with Bobby before we go. Get in there, boys. Let's see you guys jump that wall. Okay. <laughs> good job. Good job. <laughs> Who won? Daddy won? Yeah. Now for some post race tech. What's up? Was Stoyer with us at all? Yeah, I think you were about six, seven car lengths. Like you were running a, a, a six oil, oil and zero one five, it's like sixteen flat. If Sawyer got you at the line, I think we we're all just gonna walk home. Yeah, I think we were too. <laughs> I should have went around the outside of Lawbach, but I didn't know which way he was gonna go. Yeah, just the seals.
we're done, we're done with the pony body. Next week it's ours. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Oh, you want to show everyone your medal? So pretty. So pretty. Did you have fun? Yeah. Oh, snap. You're going to day off? No way. Yeah. So if you want to do two Monday, I got, got a lot done on the phone, buddy. Uh, yeah, before 40 I did, the, I did the rest of the stuff. If you want to finish that Monday, besides that break, then we'll come for this. Wow. Okay. I wanted a high five from Shane. Nice job tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Two seconds. We finally got luck on our side. <laughs> finally. Yeah. I had 60 laps and zero with us. Yeah. <laughs> and I led one lap. Not even one lap. Not even one lap. That was the last lap. That's all that Unless you got lap money. I was like, holy crap. Bedtime. Well, that one I fell into. That once in a while you get lucky, right? I know! I said if I lost at the store, I was gonna cry. I was gonna cry. Uh, 31 laps, you can thank Gallagher. I I don't know why the f I went to the bottom. Don't ask. Can you give us your Wawa race recap? Tonight, it was better to be lucky than good, right? We're going to find out. I think I know those kiddos. Hello. Huh? Ah, we got her. Look at that. Nice job. You got yours? Oh, no. What do we got, Billy? Tuesday, Wednesday, we lost with two to go. Tonight, we started seventh. We got the fourth. Um, actually, then I got the third. And that last restart um, was like about 16. I think uh, I come down the back stretch and uh, we're just side by side, right? And I, my apex on entry kind of got tough to turn and I kind of slid across and we ended up getting second there. Uh, it just, you know, when you're coming into three, it's just like, there's just, you can't rotate, right? When you're, when you're kind of this low down. And we slid up across, ended up second there and uh, rolled, rolled, rolled for a while there. Um, I thought I was catching Lombok inching at him, right? Like slowly, slowly, slowly. Um, we got there with one to go, maybe four or five car lengths. And uh, he blew up, which about fell on the ground. I couldn't believe it. 31 laps tonight. Uh, if it would have been 30, I would have ran second. Um, he had a good car, so just uh, disappointed. I mean, I feel bad for him, but uh, very happy for our guys, right? Like we, we lost to Shepard Tuesday. We lost to Buckwater Tuesday, Wednesday. And tonight it kind of fell in our hands. Um, we're still a little too tight in the center. I think I know what I got to do to change, uh, which I'll work on and go back and try to get better, right? It's uh, overall a great night. You guys keep working and digging at it. And uh, we'll see what we got tomorrow night. Uh, hopefully two seconds. And, and if we can pull two first, uh, Cole Crackers is the one, uh, one of those ones that haunted me over these years. So we'll see what we got. Um, Poor Steve is like cranking this pump is slow tonight, but thank God we're down to 351 a gallon for diesel. So we'll go into Wawa and get our sandwich nogis, go home, strip the car, and wash it tomorrow and do it all over again tomorrow. So thank you all for tuning in. Um, good week, like one on Thursday, we won on Saturday, I got two seconds. Uh, well, we'll forget about Albany and uh, last, oh, I guess Lebanon Valley rained out, so uh, that kind of sucks for him, but we'll get after it. You want to give us your interview, Todd? No? He's done. I'm going to get my celebratory chocolate milk because chocolate milk at Wawa. Please tell me, Art, chocolate milk at Wawa is the best. Is, is the best. Is the best. It's, the best. it's so much better than yes, Rofo. Is. Yeah, Rofo. Mofo. <laughs> chocolate milk. Let's see if the kiddos are getting chocolate milk. This is where it's at. Did you get a pumpkin milkshake? Yes, I did. You gotta pay for it first, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll get mine. We picked up on it. Every time we win, we do a giveaway. So, this. Oh, they look like they have to bounce it over. I'm just gonna videotape and not to help. <laughs> um, giveaway. So you're gonna earn some free Dirt Track Untold swag, our newest swag. Oh look, nickel. So in order to do that, all you have to do is literally share this video 
on your social media and tag dirt track and told that's it that's all you have to do that's all you have to do share this video on your social media tag dirt track and told it's going up sunday we'll choose the winner on tuesday we'll choose the winner on tuesday share it tag us you're in and they're still struggling over here we watch the fence. Okay, it's the last time seeing the pony body. Say ta ta. You did as well. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys tear it apart. Have fun. Yep. Ta ta, guys. That one's been like that. That was used. Just like that. Hey, if it was, if it was just like Billy. And maybe like Todd or whatever. Just two of them. Okay, I, I'd step. But what do they got? And there's four of them. They don't need me. They do not need me. I can go home, get some sleep. So tomorrow we head to Big Diamond Speedway. Mike's heading to Utica, Rome. Got the coal cracker tomorrow. Gosh, I have not been in the coal cracker in God knows how long. Um, but yeah. Hell of a night. Hell of a night. Definitely would not have seen that coming. Like, literally, um, I'm sending updates in Club DTU. The next thing you know, everyone's like, how did he just win? He literally had, like, a second gap. Like, Lobach had, like, a second lead over Billy. And I was like, well, it happens. You know, I, I'm always a firm believer. Like, never get up until the checkered falls. Literally, like, that's my motto. Like, I don't care who's leading, how dominant they are. Like, the race ain't over until it's over. Like, isn't that the saying of, like, ain't over until the fat lady sings? Isn't that, like, an opera thing? I really hope it is because that's what I had been told before. So, yep. Good night. Good night. Thank God. Whew. Really needed that after leading at Georgetown losing the lead like two laps ago same thing happened at Coast Town Wednesday night leading it lost it with two laps to go and then this whoo I looked at Michelle I'm like if we get a second again this week oh my god but guys freaking work their butts off per usual so <sighs> two more weeks left guys two more weeks still leading the points so uh yeah so like the video subscribe the channel share the video so you get entered into the giveaway and we will catch you right back here tomorrow with the coal cracker from big diamond speedway and i'm pretty sure i'm 99.9 positive that's under track digest tv if you want to watch the live stream so all right